Welcome back, this is the Amachak, and we're not doing prison because I tried and I died and then I tried to do uh, Kramps' lair. Um, goodness, what are we doing? We're going to be here. This is my sensitivity, thank you. Um, and I died and then we did airship and I died. It was, I'm just, I'm tilted right now and I could really use a win is uh, what it boils down to. I'm uh, a little bit upset about my performance, honestly. It's kind of bothering me, and that's what tilting is, right? Is uh, you're upset about something, and then you fail, and then that upsets you even more, and then you keep failing because you're like stressed out about it, and you're not just doing what you know you can do, right? I know I can win a spillway on Hell on Earth. I know I can do this. I've done it. I can do it again, right? We can, we can definitely carry through uh, a spillway hell on earth. This is not a problem. So we'll just do it, right? No need to be uh, tilted about it, right? No need to get tilted. I have been invited to play a card game, 313. I will, uh, I will not go because I really got to get these episodes recorded. What is you doing? Yeah, we're doing a lot better this time. Like, this is already much better performance than the previous uh, attempts have been. Although we didn't get much money either, so... Not much better, I guess, because we just didn't get as many, like, Zeds. Or as bad Zeds? I don't know. We didn't get as much money, so something was clearly different, and that was definitely, uh... It showed, because we did much better. Oh no, we got actually enough. Actually, yeah, no, we did fine. Hold up, yeah, it was great. It was good. We're good. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Be happy. What is all that? I want to shoot you so that these guys are not vis invis in 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 so I can see them. Playing games is uh is hard right now because I like playing games, right? But like, next time you're playing a board game or something, try playing it without talking. <laughs> it, it's way, way harder to do and a lot less fun, honestly. Oh, wait, wait. While we're here, we, we have to do the thing, okay? Almost. We have to do it. We have to do it. I don't have a choice. Did I land it? Heck yeah! That was worth all the damage that we took. Worth the 100 gold that I lost trying to do it. I had an ear scratch. I had to scratch my ear. I couldn't move my mouse. I'm sorry, okay? I'm deeply sorrowful. Oh wait, we only wasted 50. Because I get to come back and get it. Look at that money up there. Okay, you know what? <laughs> it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth <laughs> Too distracted. I want to win. Okay. Ultimately, that's what I want right now. I need a win to make me more confident and happy. And uh, we're just going to go do one of the easier maps here. Uh, and just just get that win real quick, okay? We're gonna do not like a kill zone or something, but like uh, Pallet Town. Pallet Town's a good map. We'll do Pallet Town. We're leaving that in because I think that's funny. I think that's a funny death. I think that was a funny death. Yo, Discord's got this new thing at the bottom. I haven't seen that. It's got this little like compass thing. I wonder what it does. Let's find out live. Explore public servers. Yeah, that's about what I expected. So this is a fairly easy map, all things considered. Got lots of space. The last time we played on this, I believe you are fighting the King Flesh Pound, and I, <laughs> I just jumped off this walking backwards. I still count that as a win, okay? I say we won that one, okay? 
I don't really worry about ammo on this first wave too much because we have so much ammo and then we're just selling this anyway so we don't have to worry about ammo efficiency or whatever. Cost of ammo is, is completely unnecessary to concern myself with at this point. In the next wave though it is a little bit more prudent to um, conserve ammunition because you have to do pay for, for ammunition at that point onwards because you're using an actual weapon instead of your, your T1s. Must be nice being a firebug and just sticking with cock and burn the whole game. I think it's broken. Like, no other perk starts with a weapon that is as good as the cock and burn for what their perk is supposed to be doing. Like, the firebug is supposed to be clearing out trash. You get a cock and burn, you're good for, like, the entire game to clear out trash. That thing is going to work just fine pretty much right up until, like, the boss wave. Um... So like you're you're good once you get a cock and burn and you get that right from the start. Whereas gunslinger, you get 1858s. Now the 1858s are fine at taking out trash, um, but the gunslinger's real thing is taking out the big zeds, right? Like that's why you got the deagles and the AF 2011s uh, for taking out those big zeds, right? Um, so you don't really start with as good of a weapon. The 1858s are fine. You can take out the big zeds with them though. Uh, if you're on like control difficulty or something like that, you're gonna have to, and it's honestly it's fine. I think it's like two, like one reload for taking out uh, like a flesh pound. It's not bad. It's not bad, but it's nothing like the cock and burn, which is just like perfectly adequate at the fle the firebug's job. You're not supposed to be taking out the big sets with firebug, right? In a team environment, you're not supposed to be fighting. I mean, these days, like, every perk kind of just does whatever it wants, and you don't have to worry, especially after we get the the new update where the, uh, the Zerker has that new, like, rifle. Like, why did they give the Zerker a rifle? Like, just straight up a rifle. Like, okay, yeah, it, it fires microwave rounds, so it's not, like, totally... And it has the... The, uh... Whatchamacallit? The um, electro nade thingies. So sure, it's kind of berserkery, you know, in a sense. I guess you could argue that it is relatively berserker-like, but it's a rifle. The eviscerator is the extent of my like ranged berserker. You know, I'm okay with this kind of thing, because with the the eviscerator you can parry. Right, and that's, that's what it boils down to for me, is you can parry with it, it's a Berserker weapon. Berserker isn't about melee, it's about parries. And tanking, and being up close and personal. And uh, this new weapon just completely does not encourage uh, up close and personal. It, it completely discourages it. You want to stay far away, you can't parry, you can't keep your parry bonus, you can't, you know, keep the Zeds back, you have to kill them. You, are, uh, you, you, you go from being the tank and kind of a high value target killer um, to being just the worst firebug. <laughs> I don't really, I don't really, I don't really get it. I haven't played the beta, so I'm not going to talk too much on it. Um, who knows, maybe the weapon is balanced, you know? Cause I, I, think they, I think they have changed it too, so... It is more balanced than it was. Anyway. Um, but I, I just I don't agree with the whole giving the Berserker a thing. The Kaboom stick is also kind of silly. Why does the demo get the boom the Kaboom stick? And that's like a perfect cross perk weapon too, right? The HRG Kaboom stick. Like I get that the HRGs aren't cross perks um, but that's a perfect cross perk support and demo and then on top of that it's just like stupidly powerful from what I've seen the uh, the Glocks I'm less worried about them now because of um, like they, they did they did change the range on it I don't view the Glocks as being particularly powerful relative to like Deagles 
you get the ammo capacity, but like honestly, Gunslinger doesn't really have ammo problems anyway. You get so much ammo when you're wielding M1911, Deagles, and uh, like AF2011s or the... Um, geez, just shoot him, bro. When you're wielding AF2011s, Deagles, M1911s, you know, whatever you want, you get like three guns that are all very capable of taking out everything in the game, and that's, that's, you know, ammo capacity is fine. Um, and then you can, like, run around, hoover up ammunition boxes and stuff too, right? Because you're so fast. That I feel like the, the argument that they're broken because of the, the high ammo capacity is... Eh, it's, uh... It's not really relevant. You need that ammo to be able to fire it, and then, um... Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I'll see how it is when I'm actually playing with it. But from what I can see of it, and people showing, like, kills with it, like, they didn't really kill that Skrake faster than I just killed the Skrake with the Deagles. Was it, like, the time to kill wasn't really there. Like, okay, you're getting your rack ups quickly, but that's, like, one shot with the Deagles difference, right? Like, it's not... It's not the be-all, end-all. So... I don't know. It's just like they don't—they don't seem like that big of a deal. Before they nerfed it, like they added, I believe, some more spread um, and reduced the damage on it. Before they nerfed it, I was like, "Yeah, that's a problem. Like you can take out like two or three scrakes in one clip. Like that's—that's that's a little bit overkill." But then they changed it, and now you have to be right up close and personal. You have to be making complete headshots. You have to be, you know, very accurate. And uh, it's just—it's not not really better than the, the Deagles, in my opinion. I'll still probably be using the Deagles over the Glocks most of the time. I might switch out the M1911s, depending on how much they weigh. The M1911s might get switched with the Glock. Like, I'm going to buy the DLC when it's released. I have no problems with buying DLC. I have problems with the loot box. Nonsense. But, um, ultimately, with, uh, the you buy, you pay 10 bucks for the weapons. I mean, it's like 15 bucks a weapon for me, but I honestly don't really mind that. Um, they put work into the weapons, and yeah, they, they deserve some money for it. Maybe they're charging a bit much, but whatever. I've gotten more use out of the bow than I've gotten out of like other $20 games that I've paid for, so <laughs> like, I don't really mind. Uh, I've gotten a lot more use out of the Rhino. I haven't played it on camera much. Uh, I don't believe at all, actually. But I have uh, definitely used the Rhino a lot. It's a fantastic weapon. Really love it. Um, the Ion Thruster I have not used at all, but I know that other people uh, that I'm in games with are really enjoying it. And that makes me happy as well when people like are like, Oh shit, I can use the Ion Thruster. I'm like, yeah. That's dope. I accidentally swore. I've got. I'm doing so well. I'm trying really hard not to swear, but it's hard, man. I swear a lot in real life. Um, but when people get, you all right there, bud? When people get like super excited that they can use one of the DLCs that I have, that just makes me so happy. And that happens a lot with the Ion Thruster, um, the Mosin Nugget, the Mosin Nugget, the Mosin Nagant. I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, so people get to use it, and then that makes me happy because they're happy. And it was uh, worth the money that way. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. But the, the, the random DLC stuff, that's the one that gets me. I don't, I don't have issues with the $10 guns, personally. That's like a thing, is that this, this game is so negative. Oh, we're done. Music. I'm not sure how long we've been done music, but we, are we have no music right now. Um, that's another thing, is this game is so negative. Everybody's always like... Ah, uh, Tripwire just hates us, and they can't care for their game, and Killing Floor is dead, and blah 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 blah. Like, I'm watching Pathfinder, and he's getting real annoying with it, because... It's like, it's not dead, it's still a good game. You know? Like, I'm, I'm still here. People are like, yeah, nobody's playing the game anymore. Everybody's leaving. I'm like, I'm, I'm still here. I'm still playing, I'm still having fun. Like, this is still a good game. Like, okay, sure, there's DLCs, and sure, there aren't, like, a billion updates, but, like, you're not paying a subscription. <laughs> what? Are you, are, like, it's, it's a one-time purchase. You know? 
be happy you got any updates. It's it's insane that people. It's entitled too, right? Like they're 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 so upset that the updates that are coming are so infrequent and so small, and then they're also upset that the company's trying to ask for DLCs. I'm like, well, <laughs> there's no subscription. They don't have any money. Like, I'll take a $10 gun over $10 a month to play any day of the week. Right? Like, I'll pay for DLC over paying for a subscription. You know? Like, you have to pay for them to develop the, the stuff somehow, right? Like, they have to get the funds for it from somewhere, whether it's a subscription or, or DLC. And, uh, like, to me, the $10, like, paying for the DLC one time instead of every month seems way better to me. And uh, I guess to some people that's just not the case, because um, they are super duper salty about how the uh, there's just like no content in the game anymore, and then also salty when they want to charge for content. I'm like, well, they're not gonna just do it for free. They have to get paid at some point. But the loot boxes I don't agree with. I don't like the loot boxes. See ya. <laughs> um, see, I don't know. The game's so negative, but you're not paying us. You, you bought it one time, like, four years ago or something. You know? You got updates until then. There's so much new stuff in the game since when you bought it that they should honestly be charging, like, for the maps that they're adding. Like, they should be charging for the HRG weapons, even. Even if they're just reskins. Like, that's... They need... You know... Eh. I mean, they should be charging less. But also be charging for like all of the new content that they're adding, in my opinion, except for maps. Um, but like any weapons that they personally make, like go ahead, charge for them. I don't care. I'll buy them. The game's so negative. People are always so anti KF2. And it's insane. Because just dumb reasons. It's like Terraria's ending, right? Like they have their Journey's End that just came out. They're not getting any more updates. People aren't like mad at them, <laughs> you know? Like nobody's. People aren't outraged that. Uh, they're not giving any more updates. They're like, wow, that was like a lot of updates since when I bought it. It's incredible. Minecraft? You know? You don't... I don't know. And that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you next time when we're not doing Sanitarium. We will not be doing Sanitarium. Because I don't like Sanitarium. It scares me. Bye-bye.